Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you ever try a Cuban chicharrón before, you know it's the best thing in the world. And today I'm going to teach you how to do it. And I know guys, if you ever try chicharrones in your life before, you will never forget because it's an amazing, beautiful pancetta that you can make really easy and it's always amazing. The way we're gonna do it today is gonna be really simple. We're gonna crisp it really good on the outside and we're gonna leave the inside soft and moist. It's gonna be amazing, guys. And for that, I dry aged these two pieces of pork belly that I have here for about seven days. This is my first time dry aging pork at all. I never tried it before, but everybody say that it need to be really dry so it bubbles really well and blah, blah, blah. So I put it to dry age for seven days and I think it's it's looking good right now. And we're gonna make something that we call Creole sauce. Creole sauce is, is an amazing little sauce that I make for these specific kind of things. And I think you guys are gonna love this one. So stay tuned to them because... As you can see, this pork belly that has been dry aged for several days, the color changed completely. It's kind of a deep red right now. You can see it's exactly the same thing as any other pork belly. You have the fat in there, you have this beautiful combination with the bacon is in here. And then you have this pork skin here that the dry age changed a little bit and now it's kind of yellowish and it's really hard. I think all we have to do right now is just cut this into pieces, the pieces I wanna use to fry this beautiful pork belly. And it's really easy, guys. I'm gonna walk you through the steps, but it's not complicated at all, and I know you're gonna love it, so let's get into that. First thing you need to do is get some gloves, all right? You don't want all that fat in your hands, and it's gonna drive you crazy. So the first thing you should do is that. Now, the second thing is, remember, this skin here is really hard. It's gonna be tough to cut through it. So I like to cut the meat first, all the way to the skin, and then I just cut the skin by itself. The way we cut it is always one inch thick. So I'm gonna say about one finger thick. So let's mark one finger here with the meat facing me. I'm gonna cut in here and I'm gonna mark like a parallel line with the border. Make sure that I get that thickness. It's important. All right, now once I have the mark, I will go all the way down to the skin. And then once I'm down there, I'm just gonna Stand it up, cut the skin up. This is gonna be a lot easier and it's gonna help you a lot. If you try to cut that skin by yourself, you're gonna be here for a while. All right, so I have my first one here. As you can see, it's looking square and beautiful. And we have a lot of meat in there, guys. This is gonna look amazing. You can see everything here, you have the white, meat in here, the pork belly fat right in the middle, and then right on top you have the red meat. And of course we have this beautiful skin here. This skin is gonna be amazing. This is one of the best parts of the whole thing. You guys are gonna see. So I'm gonna put it here on the side and let me do another one for you, okay? All right, we have the whole pork belly cut up in here in pieces, as you can see. Uh, it's about one inch, you know? It doesn't have to be specific, but it's important that most of them are the same size. That's the most important part here. These guys here are very close to each other. So let's do this. Let's start cooking this baby because it's simple, but it has its own little twist, you know? You know what I'm talking about, right? You know what I'm saying? So let's get into that right now. So to cook this up, we're gonna use this little boy here. This is really helpful. I mean, I use it for a lot of crazy stuff and it's amazing. And you can control the temperature. That's why we're not gonna use the grill today because otherwise the temperature can fluctuate a lot. And we really want to control that temperature a lot in this case. So let's slide this up and let's put it to minimum. Now let's get our cast iron pan. If you don't have a cast iron pan, you can use any pan. It doesn't really matter. I love this one because it retains the heat a lot better than any other pan that I have. So I'm gonna put it in there and I'm gonna put a little bit of vegetable oil just to cover the bottom of the pan. That's it. Now I'm gonna make sure that it covers the whole bottom of the pan. 
and let's give it about three minutes. The oil doesn't have to be hot at all. We're just gonna put it in there in low heat and we're gonna let it be for 20 minutes after that with the skin down. That skin is gonna start bubbling up and it's gonna look amazing, you'll see. Now you have to be careful because that oil is gonna be kind of hot. Just make sure they can position them really nice and really well. All right, we're gonna leave these guys there for a little bit too, about 20 minutes. All right, guys, this is sounding really nice. You see that one fall, that's not good. But let's see. Oh, brother, that's what we're looking for. Put it here on the side. Let's take this one out. Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, now that we have everything ready here, what we're gonna do is we wanna put some more oil. Not to cover the whole thing, but at least half of it. We're gonna turn this baby up all the way. And now it's gonna be about 30 minutes. All right, guys, it's time to take these babies out. I want you to appreciate this beauty. Oh my goodness, guys. This looks so beautiful. Look at this one. Look how beautiful that is. That is really impressive, man. And all that meat with all that crunchy skin in there. Look at that, guys. That's cooked to perfection. Man, I love it. All right, guys, and while the other ones are being made over there, I just put them on the side. Let's make the Creole sauce for you guys. The first thing we need is an amazing looking red onion like this one. Now we have some cilantro here. We're gonna get the cilantro. I like to mix it like that. And this one is a, it has a little bit of a hot taste to it. Let's put these babies right on top. All right, once we have it like that, all we have to do is put a little bit of oil on it. Not too much. We want those onions to be Keep a little crispy. Just make sure that it look pretty. And that's it. Ninja, tell me about this beauty we have here today. You hit the spot. Man. You know, chicharrón for me is like chicharrón the, is the best. best the guys. best. Chicharrón is like, Dios ah. mío. <laughs> yeah, and the way I did it here is, yes. is the way that we do the thick chicharrones in Cuba. There is two ways of doing mm. Cuban chicharrones. One is only the fat. You cut it in little squares and you cook the skin with a little bit of the fat. The other one is to cook it like this. And the whole idea about this is to have all the crispiness outside and inside to be soft and, and, and really good. The meat. I'm missing you. I'm ready to try these babies because Me they're too. looking amazing. I can't wait. I really want to try it. Let's go, let's go. Make us some onions with it. Ooh. I can smell the cilantro, mm. the onion. You put some lemon? Some lemon. Ay, yeah, yeah. Put a lot of stuff. Ay, in yeah, yeah. Did you put hot sauce? No. <sighs> mm. And this. All right, Miss Ninja, are you ready for this? I'm going to get more onions. Mm. Let's, go. Get Let's go. Oh my God. Super crispy. <laughs> I love it. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Miss Ninja, talk about the flavor, my goodness. Let me tell you, even Georgie is excited about it. Wow. You know what is it? The perfect combination. You got the crispiness, first of all, of the pork. <laughs> Chicharrones are amazing. The rub, I can feel it, but the onions with the cilantro and the lemon is like having ceviche 
with pork. That's, oh my God. I gave it a name. I call it the Creole sauce. Uh, it's not a love sauce. It. But it's amazing, guys. Love it, love it. This came out exactly the way I expected it to be. Mm. Super crispy outside. The skin is super crispy and bubbling. And the inside is really tender. Yeah. Really nice. This one, guys. This one is good. Guys, this one is amazing. Guys, this one is delicious, brother. And sisters. My goodness, <laughs> Miss Ninja. Love it. Love it. Oh, man. I want some more. I'm sorry, but... Get the cherry. Get the cherry. Oh, I'm a pork lover. And chicharron is like my first. <laughs> so now you guys know. We normally do this thing. And we mix it with rice or beans or something like that. Uh, we run out of rice here in the house. And we are in the quarantine. So we are not even going out. But I have those four bellies. Again, I put them to dry age for seven days, only seven days, oh. in a different place, not in the same place that I do my meat. I put it on the side in a different place. I dry age it for seven days. So this is dry age. It's dry okay. age. Woo. The skin got perfect. I mean, perfect. it dry up perfectly. You don't need any salt. You don't need any of that. You just put it to dry age for seven days. I don't know if you put it for longer than that. I think you're going to lose a lot of the fat and it's, you're going to lose a lot of the meat. But seven days is perfect for these kind of things. But again, you don't have to do it like that. If you just get a pork belly from the supermarket and you want to cook it that way, that's going to be awesome too. This one is just... This is the best chicharron I ever had. I love it. This is the best chicharron I ever had. Love it. If you don't eat your cherry, I'm going to eat your cherry. I love the onion combination. It's amazing. Hey. Amazing. Well, guys, I really hope you liked the video because this was amazing. It so is. if you like it, please hit us with a like. Lots and lots of likes. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I don't know what you're waiting for because we have a lot of these in this channel, man. And it's a lot of all the good stuff coming up. So if you like frying, smoking, grilling, any of those crazy things, chicharrones or wagyu or anything else, subscribe to the channel. There is a big red button down there. Down there, down there. Hit that thing and subscribe to the channel. And if you have anything to say about this, if you tried this before, I'll, I'll give you a little hint. It's called Torresnos in Spain. It's oh. uh, Latin people, we call it chicharron. In, okay. in Spain, it's a little bit different. They do it with Iberico pork, but they do it exactly the same way we do it, which is amazing. Love it. So leave your comments down there. Let me know how you like it. Let me know how you would like to try something like that. And we have a special shout out today yes. for all the people working in the supermarkets, all the essential people that have to go out there every day and they don't really get to stay at home. All yes. that people is putting their life at risk. And uh, we really want to thank you because you guys are the real heroes of all these things. Okay? Yes, we're home here and you guys are out there doing everything for us. So let's yep. give him a shaky shaky. All the, all, no, no. All the health workers, all the, the military, all the police, all the people working everybody. in the supermarkets, everybody that is an essential, we want to thank you. And we want to give you a shout out. And it's if you want to try this thing, man, do it at home. It's simple, it's cheap, it's beautiful, and you're going to love it. Oh, yes. That's all for today, guys. But remember that I love you. Mm, we love you. And let's do this together. Stay home and be safe. Let's do it, babe.